I have a quick tip if you're turning in your iPad and you know that you might not be, or you know that you won't be receiving that iPad back again next year. A courteous thing to do would be to take off your lock screen passcode if you've set one. So I'm going to take you through that quick step. Uh, first off, this is my iPad. It's on the lock screen. So when I slide to unlock, I have a passcode and that's my lock screen passcode. You don't want to leave that set for someone else next year because if that if they can't get into your iPad then it's going to have to be completely restored and that's going to be a big mess for that teacher so I'm going to enter my passcode in and I want to show you how to get rid of that passcode to turn it off you're going to first start by going to the settings app and then from general I'm in general here you want to go ahead and locate the passcode lock so I'm selecting the passcode lock because it's on and I have to enter the passcode that I've selected to access it. This is why it's a pain for a new teacher if uh, they don't know the passcode. Um, and then you'll see the first option is turn passcode off. So I'm going to turn it off. Got to enter that passcode again. There we go. And now it's off. So when I hit my home button, I turn off my iPad, and I turn it back on here, slide to unlock it doesn't ask me for a passcode. So very important, before you turn in your iPad to the district for the summer, make sure that you take off any passcode or personal lock screen passcode that you've put onto that iPad.